hello there. Something people tell me is that they always seem to attract the same sort of people into their life, in their relationships, perhaps with their partners or perhaps with friends. They always seem to be drawing in these people who just don't respect them, don't treat them very well. Maybe they try to set boundaries and it sort of works, but they just feel uncomfortable and they'd, they'd really like to meet people who treated them well and respected them. One thing that could be really helpful with that is to actually think about your values. It's such a simple thing. You know, we, we all think about, you know, well, what are my values? Well, I'm kind, I'm honest. I'm, you know, there are general values that we all want to have. Sometimes we forget to look for that in other people. We kind of assume that people will be like that and hopefully they are. But it's a really good idea to stop and think about your values. Don't, don't just have this sort of idea, yes, I'm kind, I'm honest, but actually stop and think about them. I'm, at, I'm going to put in a link below this video, but a values worksheet that you can download and you can work through. And really stop, write it down, think about your values, think about those broader values, and then think about the more personal values that you have. It might be something like timekeeping. It could be something like not swearing. It could be something like um, respect in certain situations. It could be something to do with money. There could be so many personal values that you have. And actually, if you get very clear on those, it makes it much easier to set boundaries with people because you're very clear and very confident in what works for you and what doesn't. So that's one reason that knowing your values is really helpful. But the other way that knowing your values really clearly and is very helpful is because you can then go and look for that in other people. So you can actually ask yourself, what questions could I ask this person in a very nice way? You're not into interrogating them, but in a very nice way, what, how can I find out if that person values the same things that I do? How can I find out if they value the way I approach money, if they value the way I approach honesty and, and various different things? Look for the people who actually have those values rather than assuming that they do. Because people are different. Some people look at something, they think there's no, nothing wrong with doing something a certain way. You might not agree with that at all. If you don't know that and they suddenly do that when you're sort of already connected with them, then you're in a situation where you have to kind of manage that. And that can be really tricky. So to meet people who have the same values as you gives you a head start. It means that you're not going to go further down the line and suddenly find that there's some major problem. Of course, there's always going to be niggles and things. We all look through life from our own particular lens and have our own experience. So we're going to have different ways of approaching things. But in general, if you have some clear idea of what your values are and what another person's values are, and you can make a match, then you set yourself up for much happier, much better relationships. I hope that that's helpful for you. If you like this video, please do hit that thumbs up like button and that means more people will see it and it might be quite helpful for them too. So you're helping me to help them. And do subscribe because that way you'll be notified when I'm making more videos leave a note in the comments for me as well. I'd love to know what you think about this video or what's your experience. Have you found that you keep attracting the wrong people into your life? Have you learned to be a little bit more uh, discerning about people? Have you thought about your values and their values? Let me know in the comments. Okay, bye-bye for now.